Eternum is life eternal. And death incarnate. Hi, Scissorin here, and uh, I wanted to make a review of New World and uh, the time I've spent in it. For those that don't know me, I'm a Path of Exile player, and uh, I have played a lot of games similar to this in the past, like other MMOs like World of Warcraft, but probably the, the most similar one for me would be Darkfall Online. Now, some important information before we start. This is not a sponsored uh, review of the game, uh, but I was sponsored at launch for four hours, which I think is pretty important to disclose. But with that out of the way, hopefully those that have watched me for a while now see me see and say some pretty negative things about things I have been sponsored by in the past, like for example, Magic Legends. I was sponsored for four hours and uh, I had planned on maybe playing it for a day, do it as like a uh, like thing where we play with all my viewers and, and we did, it was a lot of fun. But it was more fun than I was expecting. I'd played a little New World before, around three or four years ago, in like earlier alpha stage when they had like full loot PvP, which was more my jam. I'm a big Darkfall Online player, and I was really hoping that that was the direction they were going to go, and it seemed like it was going to be for a long time, which is what I prefer, right? I like no life in games, I really like playing hardcore in games that have it, and I like when games have consequences. So I was actually going to avoid playing it altogether, but I recently played another um, MMO called Eldion Online and had fun in softcore PvP there, and so many people wanted me to play, so along with the sponsorship, it was a bit of a no-brainer, right? You don't really get that many sponsorship offers on actually good games. A lot of it is just shitty mobile games that I auto-declined. So with that in mind, I went into New World with an open mind, hoping to play it for at least a day and, and have some fun. And it changed a lot. It was nothing like the old game i played and obviously sadly there was no full loot pvp but we can go in game here and uh, i am now level 37 and i'm not quite sure how much i've played this up on steam i've played for 56 hours since launch i probably should be a lot higher level than this but again right i haven't really played the game in its current state a lot so everything is very new i'm just running around pvping quite a lot and i've been playing a lot with noogie we uh we made our own guild and, uh, well, sadly you can only have a hundred people, so that's basically constantly full and we're just kicking people. We've now declared war on another area, so it is very heavily PvP based. First, let's talk a little bit about things I don't like with the game. So, well, first off, guilds are very small. That's weird. And, um, there, there's, I don't know, I, I was hoping, uh, if they do start increasing server capacity, which they probably should, there's a lot of problem with queues, as some of you might have heard. Um, they should probably increase guild size as well. Very hard to have a small guild as 100 people. I think most games I've played, like EVE Online, World of Warcraft, most of my guilds have been bigger than that. And I think the, the worst thing for me is the abilities. So I'm playing uh, a fire... Let's see, we'll bring up the skills here. I'm playing a fire staff and an ice gauntlet. And the ice gauntlet is pretty okay, but there's, there's really weird, like, delay sometimes. Like, now I'm clicking R and... There, now it cancelled my ability because I clicked it twice. But there's some weird delay. It doesn't really feel smooth. It actually feels really, really awful. Um, game feel is the most important thing to me in any game. So that everything feels reactive and smooth is super important. This game, for me, doesn't have that. Now, I don't know if that's the same for all the spare, sword, rapier, great axe, and the other ones. Um, but at least for the, the ones I've been picking, there's a weird, like, input delay. It feels a little bit like I'm playing on 150 ping. Um, and some of the animations, as you see here, is very long. Like, I feel like I can watch The Lord of the Rings in the time that my, uh, movement ability has for a wind-up. And even though it is a movement ability, and you'd feel like it would give you an advantage in chasing other players, it barely gives you any speed because the cast animation and, like, the exit animation is so long. Uh, the other ability here is super melee, it doesn't really do much damage, and I'm generally better off auto-attacking. It can also be interrupted, and I feel like this, this game could benefit a lot more from abilities being and feeling more instant and smoother. Um, it's very easy to get knocked out of animations, and, and that's felt pretty bad. But like, you can see now, like, you see the long startup animation and the long exit animation where it's stopping? It makes that I gain like maybe like a meter or less on other players. So it's very hard to chase other people. And what I'm about to show you ends up being like the best thing for chasing people. Now, if you're rolling, you see there's a small animation at the end, right? 
Well, if you weapon switch, at the end of that animation, there is no, like, exit animation. Now, sadly, this doesn't work for my spells, or that would actually be better for chasing. Um, and it ends up with... I, I actually do kind of like this, but I, I wish that the spells were better at chasing as well. I do like that there is, like, a skill-based bug, I guess, that you can chase people with. I also think, like, six abilities is way too little for an MMO. I am definitely one of the people that... I would prefer if there was like closer to 100 to be honest and, and having a lot of different choice for different scenarios. I, I loved having like so many keybinds in World of Warcraft. Again, I am a no lifer, right? I do put a lot of times into these games. So a lot of things I want is not necessarily what's always good for the game or what's good for more casual players. Again, I'm just saying what I like. Uh, but six for me, way too little. Respects and stuff like that, very smooth, very easy to do. It's free until level 20. Something I think another game I play, Path of Excel, should do is make it easier to respect the lower level you are. This game does that very well, completely free respects until level 20, and it's pretty cheap once you are level 20. And there are other abilities. I've tried all of them. The flamethrower, and again, like PVE is so easy, right? So I don't really rate skills by how good they would be for PVE. Flamethrower, very useless in PVP, I feel. Uh, I'm no expert on the game. This is just my impression. Um, but like, it's a channel, it's slow, you're walking while flamethrowing. You're just a target and asking to be stunned. Um, disintegrate or incinerate as well. Not really good. This one is actually great in PvP because you can go through enemies. You can get stunned out of it. But uh, that's been like the most useful fire skill so far. Fireball, great in PvP. You can lob it really far away. Um, does a decent amount of damage. And is really good if you're good in sieges and stuff like that. So that's been like the best one. Um, Pillar of Fire, absolutely hate the skill. It's very slow, weird to use and clunky. And Meteor Shower is another... You're basically just asking to be stunned. So, I don't know. I'm probably switching out of Fire Staff. I'm just using it for now because I can't be bothered leveling another skill right now. Ice Gauntlet, amazing. I absolutely love it, except for the input delay. Um, didn't really like any of the other skills. Wind Chill is basically like a sort of beam that keeps enemies away from you, but it's too easy to stun you out of it anyway, so it doesn't really do its job. Ice Spike is like Glacial Cascade from Path of Exile. It's okay, maybe I'll take that as my last skill. Ice Shower, this is like a frost wall that people have to go through and go stun, uh, get stunned, or at least slowed if they go through. It's actually pretty good in PvP and good if you can get ahead of people to slow them down. So, pretty decent choice for PvP. The Ice Pylon, pretty good if you're doing dungeons and stuff. Um, pretty okay for PvP once you get Pylon Dodge. However, if you take Pylon Refresh, it bugs out and it'll just last forever and get stuck in an area. You'll never get to use it again for the entire session. You have to die or teleport to use it. Uh, if there probably should be a limit. Uh, and, and Ultimate Chill, insane damage. Really, really liked it. So, that's sort of the skills that I've tried so far. And again, that's the worst part of the game for me. The One of the best parts of the game, though, is how alive the world feels. So we can talk a little bit about world building and, you know, the state of a massive multiplayer MMO. You see trees falling in the distance. Everywhere I've been in the world feels really alive. I am usually PvP tagged, which means that when you're PvP tagged, you're getting an experience bonus. Um, and other people can kill you. You can kill the other people that are PvP tagged. And you get experience and loot from PvP. Uh, it's not loot based on them. Uh, you get more XP the longer somebody has had the tag on and survived. So say, for example, if somebody is like being PvP tagged and running around doing stuff the entire day and not being killed for, say, 10 hours, they're going to give a boatload of XP. If they've just been killed and you're spawn camping them, they'll give you zero. A really, really good system and makes it that you can't really do, like, win trading. You can't um, have your friends uh, have five of them and just chain farm them for experience. So that, that's made in a really, really good system. Really like that. Uh, the loot, I don't know if that's the same, that if they drop better loot, the longer they've gone without being killed. But I have gotten some really good loot from PvP. It just drops like random items. And yeah, the world feels pretty alive. You hear sounds. Like you hear people in the distance farming and chopping. Um, that's definitely my favorite part. Part I really do feel like I'm part of an alive world. Um, and while a lot of servers have had issues with queues, not so much for me. It's not that I'm a streamer and we have priority. Because we don't. There's a lot of rumors going around about that. Um, the queue was so bad on the initial server we had chosen, Helheim. Uh, I had a lot of friends playing there, and I wanted to play there too. But there was a 2,000 queue when we were trying to get in at launch. And I was like, if it's like this now, and other people are saying it's like 6,000 already, let's just switch server to a dead one and play on that. And we, we switched to Ishtakar, 
there is no queue and early in the morning there still is no queue. So that's been really good. I haven't had to sit in queue to try to play the game. Uh, I just ditched all my other friends instead and made my own company. Some of the low level areas are very samey. Like these three kind of feel like the same area. They're not very different. Actually, probably these four. Um, I, I would say like the areas that are like, you know, 26. Actually, Brightwood and, and Cutlass Keys are a little bit different. But past the starting areas, it does start feeling very different. I would say like Brightwood, Cutlass Keys, and Weaver's Fen all feel very different. And we did go from a little adventure into Great Cleave, which is a higher level area. Again, very different. Um, and I'm going to run around here a little bit while I'm talking. So I want to find something cool to show you. But um, something which I'll hopefully find is the rare resources feel really, really cool interesting like you see them very early on like things that require like level 50 lumber level 50 mining and they really like stand out like you can see like this is a bigger tree that like, requires higher lumbering but there are even more special ones as we go around and like i i thought they did some really nice touches on the um rare resources really standing out um something else that i can talk about as well that i think they did really well is uh, in a lot of MMOs, I feel like I'm standing there waiting for things to spawn, trying to tag it and other people taking it instead of me and having to wait like 20 to 40 minutes for a quest. Oh, like here's a rare resource, but it's on cooldown. Um, so this has like already been mined, but this will spawn pretty quickly again. Uh, here are some flowers that are pretty rare. So you can see they, they really stand out. They did, they did uh, a good job with that, I think. But... This game, what it does really well is uh, there's only like two or three quests where I'd really had to wait and try to tag things because it was a skinning quest. Um, but for the most part, I think it's only you need to do like 16% of the damage and you get part of the quest completion. So it's actually you're kind of incentivized to help other people who have already started doing things and you're not just trying to like poach it and get the quest for yourself. PvP, uh, honestly, even with just six abilities, PvP in this game has felt really good. Chasing and stuff is a little bit annoying. It's very easy to get away from people, especially while wearing light gear. Uh, you can see that I have like a really good roll and it's kind of Dark Soulsy. Um, if you're wearing heavy gear, it's just like a little like shuffle to the side and you can't really escape from people. But um, yeah, with light gear, you can run away from pretty much anyone. I very rarely get chased down. There's not as much crowd control as I'm used to in games. I'm used to like things like Wall of Force and Darkfall, where they're literally keeping the enemy completely like frozen and can't move. There are wars. So for example, the enemy team very recently flipped. You can see there's a green bar filling up here. They can fill that up to 100% uh, by doing PvP missions as a group or with 100 people, etc. And then it'll fill up uh, and then they can declare war. Currently, there is a war for Everfall, which is some random people doing declaring. I don't know who they are. But then Brightwood, we are actually with uh, with our company uh, declaring war here. It's very hard to win a war. It's much easier to defend, but I'm looking forward to do this, which will be on Sunday. And we can have some footage from the war right now uh, that we did yesterday. A company reached out to me and be like, hey, we heard you were a Darkfall online player and a streamer. If you want to join um, the war tomorrow, you have you will give you a group of five so you can participate, etc. Uh, try to have everybody above level 38, but as high as you can. And we basically power leveled with our entire guild. And as you can see, the distance or like in the background, the war, really, really cool. You have people like yelling, uh, like commands and stuff like that, just like I'm used to from like Eve Online and and Darkfall Online. Just really, really cool shit. Definitely made me love the game even more because even though I only have six abilities and I don't like that part of it, this stuff was really, really cool. The siege stuff amazing really liked it and to level up as well and we can show some footage from this we were doing like oblivion portals basically uh we had like 50 of us we just got everyone that wanted to join and started doing oblivion portals uh there are these red portals on the map it's called the corrupted monolith uh they look literally like taken out of oblivion it's a very very cool very cool atmosphere i really like grinding them i feel like it's like mapping from path of exile because i love doing the same thing over and over again right the less variety I can have in my gameplay, the better. If I get to do the same thing over and over again and just farm that, that is so much better. So big fan, really enjoyed that. A lot of people have been asking like, Zizrin, do you think this game is gonna last? Do you think it's gonna be dead? Well, it's a $40 MMO, so I don't really care. I had never really planned on playing this more than a day and I'll most likely play it for around a week. Uh, maybe go back to Diablo 2 Resurrected or Last Epoch, I haven't fully decided yet. 
But I know I'm having a lot of fun right now. I'm at least going to play till our siege on Sunday. And then after that, I'll see if I play more or if I uh, go back to other stuff. But for $40, I think it's very hard not to get at least like 40 hours out of this. I generally feel like it's pretty fair to give like a $1 per hour um, value. And I think you can very easily get a few hundred hours out of this. I'm already on 50 and we'll probably end up getting around 80 to 100. Um, I don't know if I'll ever reach level 60 in this game. Obviously, Path of Exile is starting up there. New season start soon. Uh, and I have other stuff I want to do as well. So we'll see. But uh, I've had a really, really enjoyable time. More than I thought I would be. I would give the game a 6 out of 10. There's a lot of things they can improve on. A lot of things they could add. Um, the dungeons have been pretty cool so far. I'm about to do a second and third one today. I've done the first one. I think the biggest thing that would make this something that I would play regularly would be if they added PvP servers. Either where there is something like full loot or some loot or at the very least your inventory, like what you've gathered um, and that you don't have the option to toggle off PvP. I don't really understand why there wouldn't at least be servers like that for the option to join. I can totally understand the, the reason for, you know, like more softcore servers, but I don't understand why there is no reason for forced PvP servers because there are a lot of us that want that and having options is good. Either way, this was my review of New World. I would give it a 6 out of 10. Really enjoying it so far. Hope you guys enjoy it. Sub if you like the video. More importantly, try to die less than I do.